12 of the fantasy football season, and here's a few tight ends I would drop this week. The first guy, CJ Uzuma, Cincinnati Bengals. So Uzuma, he had a couple good games early in the season, but the last few weeks here, he's pretty been non-existent for this Bengal team. Week 8 at the Jets, 4 catches, 33 yards. Week 9 versus the Browns, 4 catches, 24 yards. And Week 11 at Vegas in a great matchup where the Raiders give up the second most fantasy points to tight ends. Only 2 catches for 9 yards, so Week 12 he's got a tough matchup versus the Pittsburgh Steelers that give up the 11th least amount of fantasy points to tight ends on the season. And right here, Uzuma, he was good, like I mentioned, for those few weeks. But right now, he hasn't been getting the job done. They've been running the football a little more over here in Cincinnati. And there's no need to hold on to him. Only with two double-digit fantasy games in the last six weeks in PPR leagues. And that's not being productive. And that's not getting the job done. So he's an easy drop this week, in my opinion. The second tight end, Jared Cook. Of the Los Angeles Chargers. I've mentioned Cook a couple times on this drop list over the last few weeks, but he's still owned in 52% of fantasy leagues. In week 11, he didn't do much versus this year. It was three catches for 28 yards only. So the last few games here for Cook, the last three out of four, we haven't seen much really. Week 8 versus the Patriots, two catches, 25 yards. Week 9 at Philly, four catches, 48 yards, and a two point conversion. Week 10 versus Minnesota, catch for 10 yards. And week 11 versus Pittsburgh, the three catches for 28 yards. So right here in week 12, he's got a tough matchup at the Denver Broncos that give up the second least amount of fantasy points to tight ends. And right now, Herbert, he's just not looking his way. He's looking, obviously, at Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, and Austin Eckler, who had a big game catching the football out of the backfield. So right here, there's no reason, in my opinion, to hold on to Jared Cook since you're only going to get a good game out of him once in a while and he's an, in my opinion in the third and final tight end i would drop this week Komet of the chicago bears so cole Komet, he was a hot ad over the last few weeks here for the bears and fantasy owners added in 10 percent of fantasy leagues and he was going a good role but right here you just can't trust most of these tight ends they're a week on and a week off here so cole Komet over the last few games week eight versus the nine is three catches 24 yards week nine at the steal with six catches, 87 yards. And week 11 in a great matchup versus Baltimore that gives up the third most fantasy points to tight ends on the season. One catch for 12 yards. So right here, week 12, it's a decent matchup at Detroit on paper. But obviously, the Detroit Lions, they go out there and play good football. But maybe Komet could turn things around here with Andy Dalton at the helm. More of a traditional quarterback than Justin Fields who looks to run each and every play. So right here, Cole Komet, I think, and I can't trust. One week, he could have 10 points and the next two points. So right here, if you got him on your roster and you got a couple guys coming back, if you're a Logan Thomas or Rob Gronkowski owner, Komet, he had a good time while lasted on some fantasy rosters. But in my opinion, he's just too inconsistent and I would drop him. So that's a few tight ends I would drop here for week 12 of the fantasy football season.